Okay, hey, let's look at another problem. This is problem 695 from the homework. And what we have here is a trailer. It says a trailer weighing 2,400 pounds is attached to a 2,900 pound pickup truck by a ball and socket hitch at D. And what we're supposed to do is determine the reactions at each of the six wheels when the truck and the trailer are at rest, and B, the additional load on each of the truck wheels due to the trailer. Okay, so this is the, the solution manual does this a little bit different than what I'm going to do it. But the first thing, I'm going to do is if we need to know the additional load, we need to know the starting load. That's and that's what I'm going to do. So let's just look at this part right here as if the as if the um, trailer wasn't there. Okay, so we have this. Here's our little free by diagram. My awesome drawing skills of a truck. Surprisingly, not bad. Okay, so we have 2,900 2,900 pounds going down there. Here I'm going to put 2C, and here I'm going to put uh, 2B, just because there's two wheels at each point. And I'm going to try to make this 29 look like a 29. Okay, so I'm going to say the sum of the oh, stop that. The sum of the moments at say B is equal to zero. So what do you have? You have 2,900 times the distance from it and B is five feet. So that moment, so this force times this distance right here is going to equal the this force times this distance right here. So that needs to be equal to 9 times 2C because that's the force of C. So therefore C is equal to, works out to be 805.5, uh, that's pounds per tire. And then you take the sum of the forces and y equals zero. So now there's 2,900 minus two times 805.5 is equal to two b. So therefore b is equal to 644 pounds per tire. Okay, so the baseline that we're gonna be working with is a start that there's 805 pounds on the front tires and 644 on each of the back tires. Okay, so that's kind of the boring stuff that wasn't actually asked for, but it's a necessary part of figuring out what is asked for. So now, let's determine the reactions at each of the six wheels. Okay, so overall we have this system. So what is special about this system? We have one, two, three unknowns. Okay, you think, hey, three unknowns, it's all good. Three equations, three unknowns. But since this thing is only doesn't have really a z component to it, we're only dealing in x and y's, we only have really two equations. So how do we do this? Well, let's first look at, let's do a free body diagram of just the trailer, okay? So this trailer, you got this big blob, okay? So you have, we'll call this two, is that two A? I gotta clean up my mess, sorry about this. I'm gonna clean up some of this stuff that I've done around here. Okay, so this is 2A, and then this trailer comes over here. And then here's the key. At point D, what's happening? There is, you have 2400 coming down here, and then there's a force at D. And this is just D. It's not 2D because it's just a single point, right? And that force, we don't know what it is. But we can calculate what it is because we have right here, let's take the sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. So you have 2,400 times the distance to A, which is two feet. And that's gonna equal D times the distance from A to D, which is 11 feet. So therefore, D is equal to 2,400 times, boom, 436.4. 436.4 pounds, okay. And then do the sum of the forces, and y equals zero. And then so you have um, 2,400. The downs are equal to up, so 2a plus d, which is 436.4. So therefore, a is equal to 981.8 pounds per tire. So at A, so the trailer tires are each experiencing 981.8 uh, pounds of force. Fair enough. Now let's look at the truck. So here we have the truck. Boom. 
Okay, so here you have the truck. So you have here, I'm gonna again call it 2B, here 2C, the weight of, in this case, 2,900, 2,900. But there's an additional, back here at D, there's an additional force, D. You'll notice that, that I'm gonna call that D. I'm trying to equal and opposite to this D because this portion is being pushed up, this portion is being pushed down. And by how much? Well, we know it is by this amount, okay? So then we can kind of just figure it out. We'll do this again, the sum of the moments at, we'll call it B, just for giggles, is equal to zero. So now you have D times the distance from there to there, which is three feet. And that's going to be in the same direction as, so that's going to want to, I like, that's going to be in the same direction as plus 2C times 9, which is the distance from there to there. And that is going to equal to 2,900 times 5. So it's, this moment is going to cause it to rotate this way, just like this one is also going to cause it to rotate in that same direction. So we know D, D is 436, and go through and calculate C, and therefore C is equal to uh, 7, oops, sorry, where's C? I'm looking at my notes, I'm cheating. C is equal to 732, 32.8 pound per tire. Okay, so on the front wheels, it's experiencing 732.8 pounds on each tire. And then again, just do the sum of the forces and y equals zero is going to give you uh, 2,900 plus d is equal to 2b plus 2c. So this is going to give you that b is equal to 935.4 pounds per tire. Okay, there you go. So we have figured out at each, now C, do we care about C? Actually, quite frankly, maybe we care about C. Is, is it asked for in this problem? The rest is, uh, no, but it's not unreasonable to consider. It's called, they call it tongue weight. It's actually something important to consider that there's 430 pounds sitting on D. But more importantly, on what was asked for at tires, B at point B, we have the back tires. At point C, we have the front tires. And point A, we have the trailer tires. So we have all the weight on all the tires. Now part B says the additional load on each of the truck tires. Now we're going to go back to this. So if, uh, sorry, this is, this is ugly and hard to read, so let's clean that up. The answer was 935. So now we can just look at the difference. The difference between what the tires used to be, the back tires used to be 644, now they're 935, so delta B is uh, an increase of 291 plus 291 pounds. And delta C is, it was 730, sorry, it was 805, and then it actually dropped to 732, so it's actually a decrease of 72.5. And again, smell test, does that make sense? When you're putting a bunch of weight on the back of the trailer, uh, then you it'll lift up the front tires. So it puts more weight on the back tires and puts less weight on the front tires. So yeah, that's that passes the smell test. So that is how you do that type of problem. Um, the key is that it's that it's all about this point right here, right? You, you draw two related, um, independent but related free body diagrams, right? And the point is that here you have a force D going in this direction, and here you have that same equal force in the opposite direction on the on the truck. And given that is how you can solve these problems. Otherwise, if I just gave you, say, this problem right here, you simply would not be able to solve it. Or let's, let's draw a free body diagram just real quick, sanity check. Let's do a free body diagram of the whole thing. So you have the free body diagram of the whole thing. We'll treat the whole thing as a rigid body. Uh, okay. So here you have a force here, 2A, 2B, 2C. You have a weight here of 2,900 and a weight here of 2,400. Well, if you treat this whole thing as a rigid body, if you take the sum of the moments about A, you're going to have 
B and C as unknowns. If you take the sum of the forces in Y, you're going to have 1, 2, 3 unknowns. If you take the differences, normally you could take the sum of the forces in X, but in this case there's no forces in the X. So this by itself, you can't solve it. So you have to break it. You have to break it here and know that there is that the, the related forces there. There you go.